I would like to begin with this simple question. Have you ever read a book that changed the way you think? Like you read a book and you were so much illuminated and enlightened that you were able to connect all the dots of your thoughts. Or you started thinking very well. Well, I've read many of them throughout my reading and today I'm going to share three of them with you which are going to make you a better thinker. So let's get started. Let me tell you a story first. Till 2012, I did not read any fiction. All I read was non-fiction. Books on history, philosophy, religion, biographies, autobiographies, and yes, some self-help books as well. I did not know the world of fiction. All I got introduced about was that the fiction is imaginary tales which have nothing to do with truth. And I would tell myself why to read something which isn't true at all. What would I get? And I was never drawn to it till this happened. It was 2013 when I found myself in a class where this speaker was talking about books and ideas which I had already read and gone through. And I was so much enlightened and amazed that I resolved that whatever he would say, I am going to do it because this is where I find myself. So what happened? Guess what? He mentioned fiction and recommended us so many books on fiction. So I right away bought all those books and the journey of reading fiction started. And this tells us a very beautiful lesson on inspiration. You cannot inspire someone unless they find themselves in you. That means they are able to relate to you. Now it is time to talk about those three books which I would like to recommend you today that are greatly helpful to be intellectual and a good critical thinker. So let's talk about the first book. The first book is Sophie's World by Jostein Garda. Why I recommend this book? Because we find ourselves in it. When we were born, we were born with curiosity and a sense of wonder. And somewhere down the line, with time, it died. So this book is there to awaken that curiosity and that sense of wonder to make us again that intellectual we once were and we were born with. This book has a main character, Sophie, who receives letters from an unknown philosopher who tries to teach her some philosophy. And through that, we too can learn a lot about philosophy, evolution of thought and ideas. To intrigue you more about this book, I would like to read the first letter she receives from this philosopher. So it begins like this. Dear Sophie, lots of people have hobbies. Some people collect old coins or foreign stamps. Some do needlework. Others spend most of their time on a particular sport. This is the beginning and very simple language. A lot of people enjoy reading. But reading tastes differ widely. Some people only read newspapers or comics. Some like reading novels. While others prefer books on astronomy, wildlife or technological discoveries. If I happen to be interested in horses or precious stones, I cannot expect everyone else to share my enthusiasm. If I watch all the sports program on TV with great pleasure, I must put up with the fact that other people find sports boring. Quite general. Is there nothing that interests us all? So this, these questions, these basic questions, this philosopher or this book asks, which makes us think and wonder. Is there nothing that concerns everyone, no matter who they are or where they live in the world? Yes, dear Sophie, there are questions that certainly should interest everyone. They are precisely the questions that this course is about. So this book is about all these questions which are basic, which every human, every person should ask. So as you go through this book, you wonder why is this the case and why is not that the case. So this makes you think and this makes you thus critical in approach. So it goes on. What is the most important thing in life? This is another question. What is the most important thing in life? How would you answer it? If we ask someone living on the edge of starvation, the one who is hungry, the answer is food. If we ask someone dying of cold, 
the answer is wow if we put up the same question to someone who feels lonely and isolated the answer will probably be the company of other people so the answer differs but when these basic needs have been satisfied fulfilling will they be still something that everybody needs philosophers think so they believe that man cannot live by bread alone of course everyone needs food and everyone needs love and care but there is something else apart from that which everybody needs and that is to figure out who we are and why we are here so this book is going to help you know yourself know the world around know the basic the thinking and the thoughts about this world around us and although there is a lot more to think about that's why we are introducing some more books today in this video book 2 in this list is franz kafka's metamorphosis this is a small novel or thus called novella it is about the basic question of human existence and the human condition it simply talks about the meaning of life what is the meaning of life so thus it makes you a critical thinker and helps you grow your intellectuality so let me read the beginning of this so that it intrigues you more to read it and get it right away so it begins like this one morning when gregor samsa is the main character here woke from troubled dreams so he slept and he woke up from the troubled dreams he found himself transformed in his bed into a horrible vermin a big insect can you imagine so what happens later so he tries to wake up but he is you know, he has already woken up but he tries to move up get up he is not able to his hundreds of these limbs which are his own but he hates them so what happens later so that actually in other words it's a very very uh, beautiful book and it needs a lot of thinking to be understood well that's why i highly recommend this book as well to be read this year only so that you are smarter than you are today and the last one is chinua achabe's things fall apart again a very small book but a very deep book it deals with the intellectual themes like effects of colonialism uh, moral complexity identity and adaptation all these themes are very significant to be understood and to be to be learned and furthermore this book teaches you about beautiful storytelling blending of the oral tradition as well as the literary techniques to tell the story a great book to read and to stimulate your thinking with so this is it about today's video in this video i talked about three great books which are going to help you to develop intellectually before we end i would like to give a shout out to my online 60 days english speaking course i've recently finished a batch on 29th of february now i'm going to soon start a new batch so if you are interested please message me i've given the number in the description or you can log into my website www.literatureworld.online where you can get the acquaintance about my courses and how we do it so register soon we'll see you inshallah in the next video till then take good care of yourselves may god be with you always